All right, we're not that far away from the start of the season. We're going to G-Day right around the corner. And what Georgia did the other day really cracked me up, I have to say, because what if they actually did do this for the Clemson game? And I don't think they will, but I will point it out because it's always it always makes me laugh. This was on April Fool's, 152 days until Georgia-Clemson. And, and guess what they've got on the screen? They've got a black jersey. They've got a black. They've got the black jerseys on. Um, look, um, it would. I would love this. It would make me not. This, whoever's running that. Sometimes whoever's running this. This Twitter social media. Or this their social media. What is it called now? Twitter. Whoever's running their social media accounts cracks me up sometimes. I don't always see um, what Georgia does, but um, they, that is hilarious to me because. Either there's a couple of different things that are happening at once. Definitely they're trolling everybody, but that, that's number one. Number two, maybe they're wearing black. Number three, maybe they're ready for everybody's reaction to it for like a few days. So I didn't get a chance to talk about this, but I, I love this. It cracks me up so much. It does take me back. I will tell the story right now about the 2007 Auburn game, so the original black guy. I think Georgia's only lost in black once. Is that right? Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but just going off the top of my head and memory and going backwards, uh, Cincinnati, Mississippi State, um, Charleston Southern, and then uh, maybe the Alabama game. Uh, the No, the Alabama game. And then they beat Hawaii and, and Auburn. Is that right? Something like that. They have a very good record in black. Um, the the win over Cincinnati was an, an amazing come from behind win. But anyway, <clears throat> that night before 2007, um, you know, I'd gone to see Jefferson County play. And that was where A.J. Harmon was. And he was a big deal guy who was committed to Clemson at the time. But he was, you know, kind of waffling back and forth. And as it turns out, um, Eventually, he went to, to, to Georgia. Well, someone who was on the team at the time, Fernando Velasco, who uh, went on to be a very good uh, starting center for Georgia on that 2007 team, the two of them were, you know, because they'd gone to the same high school, they were still close. The other two people that were that I want to mention, well, I'll, let me, so Fernando, or um, A.J. Harmon says to Fernando, you know, if y'all wear uh, – I think he said, you know, if, if they wear a black, I'm going to Georgia. So that's what I remember about that story. Cause I was, I was at AJ's high school the night before it wasn't, it's not that, it's not that far from Athens. Uh, and then, you know, the other two people that were there were definitely Blair Walsh, uh, who was a kicker for a long time for Georgia. I think Jeremy Longo was there as well. I think they were both in the same, um, in the same visit, but Longo can correct me on that. Um, what happens is, and they're in the old locker room. Uh, you know, they go out in the Reds, and as we were as we were driving to the stadium, you know, my question in the car. Wes was in the car with me, and I can't remember who else was in the car um, in 07. But like, it was like, man, you know, our pe- people are really wearing a lot of black. Like everybody's got black on. It's not just the students. And t- to remember. This was a, a phenomenon that had never happened at Georgia. Like, uh, the only time that the entire stadium kind of did the same thing in terms of not wearing red was in 03 in sort of modern Georgia history. It was 03 when Miss Dooley retired and the Kentucky game there. So you're driving to the stadium and everybody's in black. So they go out and they warm up in red. They come back in. And uh, this, by the way as an aside is like five months after Mark Richt and I are just talking is just the two of us. I don't even know why we were alone, but we were alone outside of butts. And I've said this story a couple of times. I said, did you, do you, have you ever thought about, you know, changing anything on the Jersey? And he said, you know, I want people when they see us play to know that it's Georgia. And so he said, I just, you know, he had ordered the jerseys, <laughs> so he didn't knowingly lie to me. But he wasn't telling me the full truth, which I don't. I don't blame him about that at all. Either he he had either just ordered them because they had to be due at that time, or um, in in the spring, so Nike could get them done. 
or you know he had already ordered him. It was one of the two. I really needed to get with him about that. But um, they are in the locker room. They're getting ready. Is that like I don't know twenty ish minutes left uh, before the and the lights go out in the locker room. They turn the lights out, and when they turn the lights back on, right in front of them were the black jerseys. So black tops. Nothing else changed. And um, so as a photographer, um, I was, I knew before anybody else that they were wearing black because I was underneath the stadium and I took images of it. Now I don't, so the other sad story in all of this is I have very few images from that game actually because, and the lesson was learned that week, um, I used an external hard drive. No one's going to know what that means. Uh, but, um, uh, all of the images from G day with the exception of, I think three, (laughs) and they're all right here on the screen with the exception of these three images. Um, I do not have the full version files of the, uh, shots, but here's the one of Matthew. And of course this was on the cover of dog post was Mark rigged right here. This is an excellent image. If I do say so myself, um, and the the eruption of the crowd when Georgia came onto the field was like something I'd never heard of before. And everyone was extremely excited about, you know, what was going to happen. This is a couple weeks after Georgia had knocked out Florida, the Penn Wagers game, Tim Tebow crying on the sideline. You know, this was a lethal Georgia team at the time. And I've, I've talked so much about that particular Auburn game. Um, you know, they, 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 they pal drove uh, uh, Hawaii pretty hard too um, in a very late night game um, at the, at the Superdome in the Sugar Bowl that later that year. But um, that was such a big moment in time at Georgia. Um, it was something that had really not been introduced in the, in the, in the lexicon that is Georgia. Um, but I think that, uh, looking back on it, that was an, that was a crazy moment in time. The tumbling tower from our buddies at Ecopoly, the number is four, seven, eight, four, four, eight, four, five, four, eight, four, seven, eight, four, four, eight, four, five, four, eight tumbling tower. What is tumbling tower? This is a like, I mean, this is my description of it. This is a industrial Jenga blocks. These are not going to just fall apart. They're not wood, obviously. They're made of the same recycled plastics that they use in all their awesome products. You should order this. I, I, I should have talked about this a week and a half ago. You should have this for the fall, period. Um, and you can call and get that down there at EcoPoly, 478-448. 4548 and that's our friends at Eco Poly down in the heart of Georgia in Eastman and that's Dodge County for those of you keeping track at home of which I am I am keeping track at home so it was uh oh and and now my screen is goofing up on me look that was an amazing time at Georgia um that moment and that's where you're getting the black jerseys from it it all came from <laughs> it all came from Mark Richt and guys like Fernando Velasco and Thomas Brown and you know, AJ, excuse me, uh, AJ, AJ, oh my gosh. Um, Bryant, Thomas Brown, Keelan Johnson, that whole group was, um, was a really good senior class, by the way. Uh, and they brought you the black jerseys. Now, whether or not Georgia will wear them, um, at the dome, the only thing that, that, oh man, I'm losing my wits over here. It's like I've never used this software before. I apologize. The only thing that makes me wonder if like maybe this is actually possible is because, you know, Gary Stoken, who runs the Chick-fil-A event, they really do like teams wearing, um, wearing primary colors. And of course you can't have Clemson in orange and Georgia in red. Those are basically the same color. So uh, that, that will not happen, but keep a lookout for this. It should be a lot of fun seeing the skeptic, the uh, speculation as it relates to what George will wear in the dome. I think it will be red. That's me.